Searching is one of the helicopter's great strengths, but sometimes it's better to wait until daylight, as in this case. The helicopter was called to attend a, a scene of a rave. Uh, this event was taking place in a, a clearing in some woods, and uh, the helicopter was uh, requested to attend by the, the person in charge of the, the actual scene from a police point of view to uh, be able to get an overview. Tactical commanders on the ground needed to know just what they were dealing with. Yeah, for information, we're now dialing your pictures. Uh, if you've got it switched on at all, uh, uh, according to them. Yes, I'll uh, get my... Uh, I've got best to just see. There was hundreds, if not thousands, of revellers out in the woodlands. Uh, I think it's actually forestry commission land. The actual call to the rave was first put into the police the previous night. Now this land is served by a gamekeeper, part of a very, very big estate in the north of Nottinghamshire, and uh, that's who first put the call in. But in the dead of night, uh, there was not a lot that could be done. Now the thing is, the following morning, it just appeared that this rave was going to go on and on and on, and showed no signs of uh, dispersal. In every case we go to, we've got a different perspective to the officers on the ground. We could see the, the entirety of what was going on from our position uh, a thousand feet above the, the sea. Um, we were asked to broadcast a, a message um, which was required by law to be broadcast to the, uh, to the rave. Basically they were on private land, it was a, a request for them to quit that land, to leave that land. Um, and the fact that if they didn't quit by a certain time, the police were going to uh, enter the, to the location and, and remove the people who were, who were still remaining there. Practically speaking, they didn't take any notice whatsoever of this and just continued with their party. Raves are often linked with illegal drug taking and the, the mess that is left afterwards from just the people partying all night is horrendous. So therefore the landowners, the people have got this amount of land, who keep it well, forestry commission, uh, rural estates, just do not want this amount of people wrecking uh, what they've worked for years uh, to get right. Well, if it's cold, Boss Kazulu is in the climb to fly level 6-5. Kazulu wanting to climb report level. The rave was big, but it was sort of stretched out in one of these long channels through the through the woods, through the forest. As soon as uh, the large numbers of police officers moved into the site, moved into the rave site, what looked like the organisers of the event started to pack up their sound equipment, their, their public address system, their music systems, and the tarpaulins that covered them into the big vans, the very big vans, the lorries in actual fact, that were to transport them. And then the police took possession of the vans and their equipment. It uh, just serves to others as a warning that uh, if they don't comply, if they do trespass, there's a strong likelihood that they're going to lose thousands of pounds of their equipment. The reason, the reason police are called to the majority of these raids is because they take place on private land and they've got no permission to take place. Raids are often linked with illegal drug taking and the, the mess that is left afterwards from just the people partying all night is horrendous. Helicopter gives it that, gives the uh, the officer in charge that different perspective on what's going on.